ministry offers you victory living through faith in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The powerfully anointed rich word of God is ministered boldly as Dr. Nelson declares, have faith in God. Let's listen attentively as we go into the service already in progress. To our friends in Radio Land and to those of you who have made your way to God's house today in Bible Way Healing Assembly at 4831 West Henrietta Road here in Rochester, New York. Let me say to you, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in this day. No one has to suffer and others are being healed. Nobody has to die before that time because life can be beautiful. Take Jesus for your partner. He makes all of your plans so much larger. Amen. We certainly do thank God for uh, allowing us to be on WDKX. Amen. Rochester's leading radio station. And we greet those of you that are in hospitals. I have I've been away and I returned and I have three letters from the uh, Monroe County Jail. For those of, of you who are in jail. I returned and I also find letters from uh, prayer requests from others that are saying pray for me. How many know it's praying time? Tell somebody it's praying time. It's always been but sure enough now come on it's praying time. We thank God for those of you that are in in homes and other institutions that you're able to listen to this service and we're here for you. I want you to know right now that my Jesus is a prayer answering Jesus. He comes wherever you are. Nothing is too hard for him. He said with his own words, all things are possible to them that believe that all things are possible. Right now, I want to encourage you to put your hand on or wear the pain, that ache. We have many people, some in the hospital, some going to have uh, surgery. We want to believe God for you. Kidney failure. We're believing God for you. We believe in God for every situation, breakthroughs in the families. We're praising God for everyone, Sister Tiny and all. We're praying for you. I believe God because I know what he can do. Let's believe God right now. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, I take dominion, power, and authority over every condition. Physical condition. Spiritual condition. Financial condition. Thank you, Father, for those that have situations in their families. And all of us need you in our families. Thank you, God, for bringing restoration and reconciliation, peace, understanding in the name of Jesus. Father, for that person that has that tumor. I speak to it right now in Jesus' name. I said, be removed by the power of the living God. Father, from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet, every organ, every drop of blood. Thank God, every limb. Be healed by the power of the living God. For he was wounded for our transgression and bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed in the name of Jesus. I speak it by faith. Thank God and amen. Put your hands together. Come on everybody. Put your hands together if you believe. Yeah, God. How many know that there's a healer in the house? Come on, say it. There's a healer in the house right now. Will you take your Bibles in your hand and let's say together, this is my Bible. This is the Word of God. God and His Word are one. God is everything. My Bible said that He is. God can do everything. My Bible said He can do. I am everything that my Bible said that I am. 
I can do everything my Bible said that I can do. I can have everything my Bible said that I can have. I've come to hear the word of God and I declare my mind is alert, prepared to receive the infallible word of God. And because of the word of God, I will never be the same again. Not ever, not ever, not ever. I'm saved, healed, delivered. Come on, out of debt. All my needs are met. Walk in divine health and holiness. Now I will not allow Satan to rob me of what God has given me. Tell somebody what that is. Truly that is the beautiful truth. Have a text today. And it's found in the book of St. John. And it is in the 14th chapter. Chapter 14. Please focus on verse 6. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If you had known me, you should have known the Father, my Father also. And from hence you know him and have seen him. Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it suffices us. Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long with you? And yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, Show us the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father hath delivered them unto me. Delivereth in, that dwelleth in me, I'm sorry. He doeth the work. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me. Or else believe me for my work's sake. Can somebody tell God thank you? That was a feeble thank you. Can somebody tell God thank you? Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor refuse to stay stuck. Tell somebody else refuse to stay stuck. Now say for yourself I refuse to stay stuck. stay stuck. My subject is only Jesus is the way. Subtopic. Refuse to stay stuck. Can we say amen? God bless you when you pray. Be seated in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm going to by the help of the Lord. I certainly will try. Uh, my exegesis on the text will not be long because there are points that I need to give you today that you must always remember so that you are not stuck. Jesus has been with the disciples for some time now. They're close to him. They travel with him. They go everywhere he goes. They eat together, sleep together. They see him work miracles. Speak to the dead and the dead get up. Speak to the sick and the sick is healed. Speak to the bent over and they straighten up. They see him do these marvelous things. Now he says to them, I'm leaving. I'm going away. I'm going to prepare a place for you. I'm coming back and I'm going to receive you unto myself. 
so that where I am, you can be there also. They're troubled now because they are missing him even before he leaves. They listen to him and they say, how can we know where you're going? How can we be sure that people that don't trust you? Because things are hard. Or they don't look like they're working out. How can we know where you're going? They become troubled and Jesus sees that they are troubled in their hearts. So he says to them, don't let your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. But well, that opens their eyes. Said so in my father's house and he talks about the mansions and etc. I'm going to prepare a place for you. I'm going back to the Father. You, know, you got a problem. You got a problem. <laughs> Philip is saying, Lord, show us the Father. We want to see him. Show, show us the Father. And if you show him to us, we'll be, we'll be, we'll be, Please, that'll be sufficient. You can go and stay long as you want. Show us to. So Jesus here made some great and awesome claims and promises. And of course, Jesus could make them because of who he was what he was going to do and because what he can do. So he tells them, Philip, disciples, you mean I've been with you all this time and yet you don't know me? Philip, now that's going to blow your mind. You don't know me? If you've seen me, that bothers people today. You've seen the Father. Because if you've seen me, I'm as, as much God as you're ever going to see. He said that because of what he can do in the hearts and lives of those that trust him as Lord and Savior and follow him and lead him and allow him to teach them. So he says, in this text here, John 14 and 6, and brothers and sisters, the word of the text contain, I believe, one of the greatest claims of Jesus So let us, let's look at this now. Look at the implication here of the great claim. I am the way. I am the way. Somebody sitting here this morning said, but I'm going to make it with these kids and low money and somebody's divorced and somebody's left home and somebody. And you're wondering how you're going to make it. How are you going to do this? I don't want to do this. Hey, how am I going to do all of this? Everything is on me. How am I going to do this? He speaks to you today. And says, I am the way that you're going to do it. Now somebody ought to say, Jesus, 
And then somebody ought to say, thank you, Jesus. I am the way. Well, what are you talking about? In the Greek, way is hodos. It means I am the path. I'm the road. I'm your journey. <laughs> I'm the passing. I'm your passion. It means the way you go move into who God is and know the God and how to get to God. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. It's only through Jesus. the way he is the way out I don't care what you into right now he is the way out out of difficulties that's everybody's street everybody live on that street sometimes He's out of difficulty. And somebody's in here this morning. And you are faced with difficulties. And perplexities of life. And some of these things threaten you. Those things that threaten our peace of mind. Somebody sitting next to you right now about to lose their mind. If it wasn't for God, they'd run out of this place. And if it wasn't for God, they wouldn't have come to this place. Difficulties and perplexities that, that threaten the purpose. Now minds are cloudy. Like cloud before rain comes pouring down. Indicating impending evil, mischief, injury. What's going to happen to me now? Jesus is the way out of the threats of difficulties, perplexities. Sometimes these things are so embarrassing. Can I talk to you? Oh, if it's not you, I ain't talking to you. But some of us have been in embarrassing situations. And even our spouses don't understand what we're going through with. But Jesus knows out about our trouble. He will guide us until the day is done. There's no friend like the lonely Jesus. Not one. Hallelujah. Ain't got time to hear people preach what they ain't been through and don't know. You can't help me if you ain't been through nothing. Excuse my English. Perplexity is sometimes embarrassing situation. Sometimes the best of us Difficult financial situations. That woman in Second Kings whose husband left her in debt. Man of God. Left that woman and that child in a hopeless situation. Not that he set it up. Sometimes things happen like this. And she left. Prophet comes by. She got one meal for her and her son to eat. Oh, but how many know he's the way out? How many touch somebody tell him he'll make a way? Y'all too slow in here. Tell somebody he will. Prophesy to somebody say he's coming to your house. If you receive it, say I receive it. Difficulties, Elder Ashford. Things perplexing. Things that cause us 
Sometimes when life used to be so easy, now I'm struggling. I'm trying to preach this without crying. Now I'm in a struggle. I dress fine. I look fine. My hair is nice. My nails are nice. My necktie is nice. My shoes are shine. But I'm struggling. Sometimes things are so bad. There's disagreement and dispute in families. Disagreement on the workplace. Disagreement in business that calls us, Lord have mercy, things to be reluctant in. We're not working together. Unwillingness to cooperate. Obstacles in our way. Jesus is the way out. Oh, I, give me, let me take my shoes right now. He's the way out. Somebody said the way out. Difficulties. Perplexities. Strepidus. Strepts. Deacon Sanders, they threaten our very lives. You say, how am I going to make it? Man at the pool was there for all those years. But Jesus made a way. I hope somebody going to hear me and look at somebody and say, he made a way. And he'll do it again. Somebody say, when our backs were against the wall. And I thought it was all over. But Jesus had made a way. Difficulties. Sometimes in my family. Sometimes with the children. I ain't raised them that way, but they went that way. Hallelujah. I don't know whether to go and come, but I think I'll call on the name of Jesus. Because the name of Jesus is a strong tower, and the righteous run into the name, and they are saved. The way out of difficulties and perplexities is not to run, but to stand still and see the salvation of God. Told the man, I, I don't have to get nothing from over there. See, somebody to speak had to get another opinion before they had this third operation. So they had to get another opinion. But Jesus don't have to get nobody else's opinion. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm just talking to you about somebody I know. He don't have to get nobody else's opinion. Because he is the doctor. Of all the doctors, and the surgeon of all the surgeons, and the lawyer of all the lawyers, and he's a lifter of your head. Embarrassed, but God will lift your head up, I think. He's the way out. Don't you ever think that you're the only one that's got something crazy going on in your family. And stop beating up on yourself talking about I did this for the Lord and I did that. Stop it. Joseph was a favorite son. Man after God, his daddy's heart. Daddy made him a quarter of many colors. Trusted him behind his back. Yet his brothers got jealous of him. Jealousy, cooler than the grave. People ain't, listen, most people really like me. Most people really like me as an individual. What they don't like is the anointing on my life. <laughs> they don't like the anointing on your life. Because when things go wrong, you get on your knees and call on Jesus. Come on, somebody, and something happened. Yes. 
Jesus is the way out of difficulties and perplexities that threatens your life. You are not the only one. So don't be ashamed of me. I'm, I'm a natural person just like you. All of us have stuff. You just don't see it. Don't let this have these nails and them sharp shoes and that necktie fool you. He's the way out from under condemnation. See, Joseph, Joseph was thrown in prison. Good man. It's a good man. He was not guilty. But he was in an embarrassing situation. I just want to shout for somebody. I, I, somebody going to get a miracle in here. Because your situation is embarrassing. And you trying to take it all on you. Stop it. Give it to Jesus. Come on. The devil is trying your anointing. The way out of condemnation and guilt. That place where you feel you're disapproved. I ain't gonna do it because they, they ain't gonna like it. They, 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 they gonna do this. They gonna think that they, they gonna judge me. Feel like you're unfit for service. Like you you you, you can't produce condemnation and guilt. Paul and Silas was put in jail. Preachers, can I get some help in here? Come on, somebody. Think about their reputation. But Jesus was with them. God had us asleep. Come on. Destroy the yoke and come through, open the jail, and when folk look at you, they got to say, That's God that had to be. Way out of guilt and condemnation. No matter what they know or think, they know. The disciples were all in the courtyard. When Peter got scared and denied Jesus, he's wonderful. Look, somebody said, don't fear. Don't, 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 get, don't be afraid. Because when you are in fear, you think you're, not, you're losing. So you act like a loser. You act like you lost already. So what happened, this boy was ordained to preach on the day of Pentecost. He was the one that knew that Jesus was, was who he was. And Jesus gave him away. But the devil saw the anointing on Peter's life. So when they looked like they were going to come after him after they beat Jesus, Peter got scared. Don't let your anointing go. Don't. Look at somebody and tell them, don't get stuck. And don't stay stuck. We thank you for listening to Living by Faith broadcast today. If you would like this message in its entirety, write to Dr. Eula M. Nelson Ministries, Post Office Box 39, Henrietta, New York, 14467, or you can call 321-0090. Join Dr. Nelson in service this week. Sunday morning worship begins at 11 a.m., and Miracle and Deliverance services are held Sunday evenings at 6 p.m. All services are held here at the Bible Way Healing Assembly, 4831 West Henrietta Road in Henrietta, New York. For more information or transportation, please call 321-0090. And don't forget to write to Dr. Nelson this week. Let us rejoice with you about the great things God has done for your life. When writing, consider sending a love gift to help spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. This ministry is supported by Dr. Eula M. Nelson Ministries and you, our listening partners. You may send all U.S. mail to E.M. Nelson Ministries, 
Post Office Box 39, Henrietta, New York, 14467. Until next week, friends, remember the words of Jesus in the gospel according to St. Mark 11 and 22. Have faith in God. 1039 WTKX Rochester.